Swings it up top. Kako near circle. Fire scores! Hello everyone, I'm Andy Liu from NHL Draft Central and today we'll take a closer look at 2019 NHL Draft eligible prospect Keipo Keiko. Not only he has an elite name, but he also has many excellent abilities. If Jack Hughes is currently the consensus top prospect of this draft, Keipo Kako is seen as the best challenger for that top spot. The right winger played a major part of the last season with TPS in the Junior A SM Liga while still getting some time at the Liga and Junior B SM Sarja level. He collected an amazing 25 goals and 55 points in 38 Junior A SM Liga games for 1.45 points per game. That's the third best production ever for a U17 player. Here is some example of past production from U17 prospect in this league. Sebastian Ayo, 1.34 points per game. Alexander Barkov, 1 point per game. Jesper Rikotkaniemi, 0.88 points per game. Patrick Lini, 0.83 points per game. So Keiko Jr. A SM Liga production is just amazing. In 6 Liga games, he picked up 1 assist in the little bit of ice time he got. He also got 7 goals and 11 points in 6 Junior B SM Sarja games, a lesser good league. Then there was the U18. As an underager, Keiko came in the tournament without the attention 2018 eligible prospect received, but he finished it with many spotlight on him. He was part of and down the best line of the tournament with Jesper Rikotkianiemi and Niklas Norgren. And if you ask me, I thought he was the main part of that magic. Forget the age, he was the best player on the ice for Finland. His combination of skill and big body at 6'4 and 207 pounds make him impossible to contain for 60 minutes. He was able to snag 4 goals and 10 points in 7 games for 1.43 points per game. Here is some other example of past production from new 17 prospect in this tournament. Conor McDavid, 2 points per game. Evgeny Malkin, 1.5 points per game. Andres Veshnikov, 1.29 points per game. Austin Matthews, 1 point per game. But enough of stats. What type of player is Capo Caco? Let's look at every aspect of his game. That means skating, shooting, passing, stick handling, defensive game, physicality and hockey IQ. Let's start with his skating. As the pace of the game increased each year, skating is now seen as one if not the most important aspect of a prospect. Kako skating can be resumed in one word. Agility. Even though he's 6 foot 4, Kako has some amazing edge work. He's able to skate through traffic with quick stop and turn. He often likes to cut in the middle of the ice to take a shot. Kako is fast and is able to throw defensemen off with a mix of agility and stick and link. He got some long and powerful stride that help him reach a very high top speed. I will give him 5 stars for his skating. Let's now look at his shooting. Kako has a very accurate wrist shot. With the space he creates for himself, Kako is always able to pull off the best shot he can. Even then, he doesn't actually need all that space. In traffic, he can pull a very good shot with little given space. His release is very good and he can get a hard and accurate shot. Kako loves to cut in the middle of the ice to not only get more space but also move the goalie. His slap shot and one-timer are also very powerful. When there isn't a lot of option, he often takes a slap shot to surprise the goalie. Kako is probably the best goal scorer of the 2019 NHL draft after Caulfield. But he gets most of his goals due to his excellent stick and link moves or amazing skating abilities. Kako still has an incredible shot that is very complete. I will give him 4 stars for his shot. Let's discuss about his passing. Kako is very powerful with every of his passes. He's able to find his teammate in the crease for easy goal. Like, he passes a lot in the crease. 
but it almost always results in a goal. Kako got a very good vision. He easily finds his linesmate in rushes and he can hit others with good cross ice passes. He distributes the puck really well on the power play. I would give him 5 stars for his passing. Let's talk about the best aspect of his game, his stick ending. Kako is a toe drag specialist. He creates space or even partial breakaway with one single toe drag. He literally throws defensemen off with this single move. In breakaway, he beats the goalie with quick but effective moves. His favorite one is fake forehand to a backhand shot. I will most certainly give him 5 stars for his stick handling. Let's now discuss about his defensive game. Kako helps a lot in board battle down below and he can start zonal trees with a great first pass or his excellent skating. He blocks his men easily with his big body. Kako is not an excellent defensive winger but he gets the job done. I will give him 3 stars. Let's take a look at his physicality. Kako has by far the best puck protection of the 2019 NHL draft. He's able to protect the puck against anybody, even Kendry Miller, who I said was the best physical player of the 2018 NHL draft, had a tough time against him. He's able to gain speed quickly while protecting the puck. When controlling the puck with one hand and blocking his opponent with the other, Kako is able to run over anybody. Sometimes he likes to attract people with his puck protection to then pass to his open linemate. Kako is also excellent on the forecheck, where he usually wins his board battle. Kako is not a power forward at all, but he does use his size and strength effectively. I would give him 5 stars for his physicality. Let's talk about his hockey IQ. Kako often attracts his opponent to him with stick handling moves to give space to his teammates. He outsmarts the defenseman and goalie with fake shots or passes. He also loves to move the goalie to him by faking a shot or skating full speed, so he can pass to his line mate in the crease for an open goal or go for a spinorama. He gets 4 stars for his hockey IQ. So from this graphic, to just my opinion, Keiko is a very complete forward, but unlike others, he's so flashy. He's always showcasing his skill, but stay effective on every play. Hughes is one step ahead of him right now, but don't count Keiko out. Keiko has similar skills to Hughes, but he has the 6 foot 4 body. I'm looking forward to see both playing at the Even Linka tournament in August. Anyway, I'm not a scout, I'm just sharing my opinion from what I've saw. So I'm curious, what do you think of Keiko Keiko? Vote in the poll above or comment below. If you want to see my 2019 NHL Draft ranking, click here. Subscribe if you want to see more NHL Draft videos. I'm already working on a Jack Hughes coaching report. I'll see you for the next one.